Or Shalom to the elect of Yahshua. Started with the 144,000 elect men. And Shalom to the other Israelite men, women, and children. Kuyahawah, is going to have mercy upon them. Shalom to all of you. All right, before we get started with this lesson, let's give the much do our phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha, Ha, Kwadas, Koholo Yimla, Abanawa, Alahaye Nawa, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha, Ha, Kwadas. All right. And double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that is laboring in the works. And shalom to you, believers, to the Akim wa Akwa, which will be you brothers and few of my sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. I brought out this lesson is edifying and playing upon the tables, all right? I'm your brother Malkaya, representing prophets of Pasadena, Texas camp, all right? So, hey. Let's 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 dump let's jump straight into the lesson. The brother Yohanan sent me a link to this topic on the top left corner of this picture you see, and it reads CDC implements zombie theme guideline to enforce emergency preparedness. Alright, let's actually go into this article. I'm not gonna play this video. Just you no, know, just just to be safe. Um, I don't get hit with copyright, you no, know, etc. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the link in the in the description box. You just click on that thing and watch and watch the video. All right. But um, right. That's the title. Of, that's the title of today's lesson. You know, a response to this lesson. And it reads here: the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention (CDC) has implemented a new approach to emergency preparedness. It uses a zombie theme guide. Initially, this guide was introduced as a playful campaign. Now, it serves as part of the CDC's guidelines for severe Incidents. Now you gotta ask yourself, how will CDC know about this zombie theme guideline? Open up, Slocky. Put it like this: How was? Why would the CDC? Why would the CDC push this out to the public, to the people, on how to prepare for this? And of course, you got two. You know, two simple as uh, Israelites here, a man and a woman. They laughing. You know, you got a lot of Israelites out there that 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 believes that this will not happen. They think it's not possible. It's because they don't fear Yahweh by Shmi Shai. They don't understand that Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, right? There's no such thing as the impossible with them. They can literally make anything happen. It clearly says how it's going to be a time like never before. All right. All of you that's laughing, especially these two news reporters, you ain't going to be laughing when you see people out here mutating. They, their, their, their behavior is now brute. They're thinking like zombies. All they're thinking about is just eating the flesh upon human people, whatever. All right. Um, let's stay on track All right, so you gotta ask yourself How uh, How would the CDC notice? Alright Well guess what According to scriptures We're gonna prove it That the earth is given to the hands of the wicked And this is all they do They practice wickedness man And our power is gonna use The wicked To make something like this happen Alright Hopefully that makes sense To you believers That's coming in the fold later on You non-believers We don't give a damn about you about your non-beliefs, your incredulity. All right, but let's get back on the track. Initial, uh, initially, this guide was introduced as a playful campaign. 
Now it serves as part of the CDC's guidelines for severe incidences. incidences. These guidelines aim to promote awareness and readiness for various emergency situations. Despite its amusing premise, the guide offers practical advice. It urges citizens to create emergency plans that cover basic necessities, such as water, food, important tools, and documents. These basic necessities is not going to deliver you in the day of the Lord. No amount of documents, no amount of tools, no amount of, you know, wisdom and knowledge of this world is going to deliver you Israelites from a time like never before that is fastly approaching to earth. Known as what? Jacob's trouble. All right. You know, you may have some food and water in your bag for the moment, but you got to ask yourself, how are you going to eat later on? All right? The food, the little, the little basic necessities you have, is that's going to last throughout the entire Jacob's trouble? All right? Scripture says how that our power is going to feed his servants. His servants are going to be eating and drinking. But y'all but who despise the words of Yahweh Hashem Shai, you ain't going to be eating, man. All right? Uh, let's get that right quick. But um, let's see. Some people have voiced skepticism about the seriousness of these guidelines but experts in pandemic response remember that word but experts in pandemic response argue that the guy's core message is the importance of being prepared for all types of emergencies although a zombie event is an improbable scenario it points to the to the necessity of readiness for possible severe events like natural disasters or pandemics. All right, let's let the scripture speak for itself. All right. Now, before us, right before we get this right, let's uh get this right quick in Isaiah. It's like Isaiah um sixty five. 13 or 14, if I'm not mistaken. Now we're about to die. Con. Alright, the book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verses 13 to 14 in the KJV. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Behold, my servants shall eat. But ye shall be hungry. Two thirds of our nation are going to be very hungry because you don't want to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Two thirds of our nation don't fear Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai, our Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai Behold, my servants shall eat. But ye shall be hungry. If you want to try to establish your own righteousness and you want to rely on man's wisdom, you want to rely on CDC's instructions, is you gonna uh, you gonna regret doing that, Israel? All right, because clearly it says here, "Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry." Behold. My servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart of the mind, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. So don't this famine, right? Which is going to be so severe, right? Let's get that right quick. The NLT version. Right. Genesis. Oops. Oops, my bad. Genesis 41, 31. Right. 
the book of Genesis chapter 41 verse 31 in the New Living Translation. This famine will be so severe that even the memory of good years will be erased. So this famine is going to be very severe. That it's going to have to take Yahweh, White House Shai, to perform miracles so his servants can be fed and hydrated during a famine that's going to be so severe. It's going to far surpass all the acts in the Bible that when our power has sent famine as a plague, it's going to, it's, it's, it's going to far surpass that if that makes sense. It's going to be very bad. All right. So uh, let's see. I just want to make, I just want to make that clear that you know you is lights. You try to rely on, on your own understanding. You trying to establish your own righteousness. You're serving any gods or any names, all names other than the one and only Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. These basic necessities is going to lead you into a ditch. It's going to lead you to to your to your destruction because you're not relying on Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right. All right. Um, so let's go back here. You can close that out. All right. The book of uh, Joel, chapter 9, verse 24 in the KJV. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right? The earth, the rulership of this planet, it was given into the hands of the wicked elites, the high banker family, the Rothschild, right? The Dupons, right? The Rothschild family, the Edomites, the so called white people, right? And because the earth was given to the hands of the wicked, and wickedness is all they know, right? Let's get that right quick. Micah uh, 2 1 in the KJV first. The book of Micah chapter 2 verse 1 in the KJV. It says, Woe to them that devise iniquity, right? Destruction unto them that plot wickedness and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it. They practice it because. It is in the power in their hand. Job 9 and 24. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. And the wicked, all they do is devise iniquity. And their secret counsels, they're constantly devising iniquity, working evils upon their beds in these secret counsels. Trying to figure out how can they destroy us as a nation? How can they keep us continuous? Uh, how can they keep us away from our power? All right? How can they try to get their birthright back? All right? Call on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Abaratza four four one one four four Abaratza. We are we we are of, of that number. Cause man, I want to be put on that front line as a battle axe and weapons of war. I want to go to work out there. All right? But uh, anywho, that that's a different topic. But uh, <laughs> um, all right. So let's get an NLT version real quick. The New Living Translation. And it goes into what sorrow awaits you who lie awake at night, thinking up evil plans. That's all the wicked elites do. Constantly thinking up evil plans on how to wipe us out as a nation, how to get their birthright back, how to try to fulfill their NWO. How can they get the elect karagma up? How can they get the elect chipped up, even though it's written in the scriptures that that the elect through the grace and mercy of Yahweh Bashmi Shai is going to triumph over that. Even those who had to, has to be beheaded are going to get the victory over the beast. All right. How can the wicked elites uh, continue casting out spells upon the people? All right. And that list goes on. All right. And uh, right for an example, right, thinking up evil plans. Right. Trying to uh, engineer, stage a real life. Right. Uh, trying to implement a real life. Zombie outbreak. All right. 
because pestilence is, is one of the plagues that's going to be sent upon the world. Diseases upon diseases upon diseases, epidemics, pandemics. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. What sorrow awaits you who will lie awake at night thinking up evil plans? You rise up at dawn and hurry to carry them out simply because you have the power to do so. Because the earth was given to the hands of the wicked, right? All right. I'm proud that that makes sense. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, let's get that right quick. Second uh, Chronicles. Not Chronicles, Corinthians. Second Corinthians, chapter two, verse eleven. The Wada be how bashmi Oshaya for the correction. Second Corinthians, chapter two, verse eleven. The KJV. Least Satan should get an advantage of us, of who the elect, the hopeful elect. We hope to be of the elect. All right, so that's the only way we getting up out of here. If you, if we of the elect, least Satan. Should get an advantage of us For we Are not ignorant Right Lacking knowledge Or awareness of His devices Devices His schemes His tricks His plots Alright Because Esau is a cunning hunter Right Right The so called white man He's, he's tricky Cunning Alright Schemy Sneaky At least Satan Should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices. The elect, through the grace and mercy of Yahweh Bashmi al Shah, he blessed particular Israelites, starting with his prophets, to be able to see right through this man, the wicked elites, their agenda, their devices. We're not ignorant, we're not lacking knowledge or awareness of how uh, these devils work, how they operate, right? Something like this, you know. Their own tongues is falling upon themselves. They're telling on themselves. And the elect, we can see it. Through the grace and mercy of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai giving, giving us the gift to be able to, you know, understand and see things that the average person can't see or understand. All right? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, let's see. Uh, it's going to be a time like that before, man. I just get that right quick in Matthew. I'm brought to the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 21 we're going to get that in the KJV first and then in the uh, G&T alright so the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 21 in the KJV King James version for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever shall be Jacob's trouble That great tribulation Is not Going to be a time like never before And so terrible So great That it's never going to be a time like it again You understand that? Let's get that in uh, g and T. The good news translation For the trouble At that time Jacob's trouble for the time of trouble it's like it for the time for the it's like it for the trouble at that time will be far more terrible than than any there has ever been from the beginning of the world to this very day nor will there ever be anything like it again you best believe that there will be a zombie like apocalypse happening with other prophecies happening all right it will be all right it will be like some world war z shit going on because if you connect the dots aren't there not these type of towers all throughout america all right all right right so all of y'all that put your trust in that jabby jabby juice don't be surprised you're gonna be looking like one of these things up here you're looking like one of these up here man all right behaving like one behaving like these all right 
see is something from Resident Evil. You know, they got that particular pestilence known as the TV. I'm going to say that, the TV. And is able to change, modify, alter, uh, mutate its host. You will look like a regular human being to you become like a, like a whole a, a creature. Looking like a monstrous apparition. A a a monstrous apparition. Monst uh monstrous uh one of the similar terms would be uh uh mutant malform, right? Mutant, you know, pretty much uh, in the process of mutation. Okay? Malform having body parts that's abnormally different from each other, longer, bigger, more. Alright? We don't know what's inside of that. Of the jabby jabby juice, if you know what I'm talking about, man. Alright? You know that V word, if you know what I'm talking about. Alright? You know what I'm talking about? Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, let's go back here. I'm going to read it again in Good News Translation. Book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 21. For the trouble at that time will be far more terrible than any there has ever been. From the beginning of the world to this very day. Nor will there ever be anything like it again. Jacob's trouble is going to be terrifying. It's going to be a time like never before and never like it again. All right. Let's get, uh, let's see. Jeremiah. All right. Um, Jeremiah 30, since 7, straight to the point. All right. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 7, in the King James Version. Alas, for that day, for that day is great. Choosing right, for that day is great. It's a lock, yeah. For that day is great, so that none shall be like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Two thirds of our nation, that rebellious, stiff necked house that refused to seek, refused to fear, and have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Two thirds of our nation is going to perish. More than half of our nation is going to die. Men, women, children, young, old. All right? And mind you, there's a lot more women than there are men, especially in our nation. So a lot of Israelite women, so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Indians, Israelite foreigner women, are going to die in Jacob's trouble. Because as the scripture says in the book of Sirach, all wickedness is little, but the, uh, all wickedness is, is little, but to the wickedness of a woman, just paraphrasing, at last for that day is great. So that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he, or the elect, but he shall be saved out of it. The 144,000 elect men of Yahshua Allah. And then, you know, the great the, the great multitude that's going to come in the fold. The believers of the Israelite men, women, and children are going to be saved out of Jacob's trouble. But two-thirds of our nation are not going to be saved out of it. Starting with those that know that he or she is an Israelite, but you're still in a house of feasting. All right. First Peter chapter four, verse 17. How that judgment must begin within the house of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Started with the Israelites that know that they are an Israelite, but you're in a house of feasting instead of in a house of mourning. All right. You're not fearing Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Let me get that in the uh, expanded Bible. Is it expanded Bible? Well, no. Get a GT first and then the message. All right. The good news translation. A terrible day is coming. That's Jacob's trouble. No other day can compare with it. A time of distress for my people. A time of distress for for my people and who are the people of the God in the Bible of Yahweh Bashmi Shai, the Hebrew Israelites, which are you so-called blacks, 
Hispanics, Latinos, Native Indians, you Israelite foreigners. A terrible day is coming for two thirds of you. Jacob's trouble. A terrible day is coming. No other day can compare with it. A time of distress for my people. But they will survive. The remnant, that one third, started with the 144,000 elect men. All right. Let's get that in the message very quick. Message. And it's titled as God's Message. Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai's message. Our Heavenly Father, through His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Jeremiah chapter 30, all right, is giving me uh, verses 5 to 7 in the message. It says, Cries of panic are being heard. That's all you're going to be hearing within two thirds of our nation. Two thirds of our nation are howling in vexation of spirit, screaming, shouting. Men with their hands on their loins. Alright. Because of, of, of the amount of fear. Alright. Hunger. Tribulation. Sorrow. Cries of panic are being heard. The peace has been shattered. The mirth is going to be completely gone from this fucking land of America. All of those that still having a good time out here. All you Israelites that have, that's having a good time. Being a forced American You are a, a proud Forced American You're having a good time In captivity and Wherever the hell you Israelites are scattered at Outside of America but Especially here in America The peace has been shattered Ask around Look around Can men bear babies? So why do I see all these he men so-called tough guys, these macho men, these thugs, these OGs and shit, right? So-called tough men, these bodybuilders, these, these MMA fighters and shit like that, right? So why do I see all these he-men holding their bellies like women in labor? Faces contoured, pale as death because they fucking hungry. Yahweh Bashmi Shah is putting on, putting the, uh, the proud... And the, and, and the arrogant in great misery. Like it says in 2nd Edges chapter 8 verse 50 in the Good News Translation. It's paraphrasing how uh, uh, the people of this world who live their lives in pride and arrogancy shall suffer many things in the last days. A lot of men, you Israelite men that don't want to get right are going to be holding your bellies. Like women in labor, faces contoured, pale as death. The blackness of days, no day like it ever. A time of deep trouble for Jacob. Two thirds of our nation, right? So called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, Native American Indians, man. All right, men, women, and children. The time of deep trouble for Jacob. But he'll come out of it alive. The elect are, go are going to come out of it alive. I'm going to read it again from the beginning. Cries of panic are being heard. The peace has been shattered. Ask around. Look around. Can men bear babies? So why do I see all these he-men holding their bellies like women in labor? Faces controlled. Pell is deaf. The blackest of days. No day like it ever. A time of deep trouble for Jacob, for Yaquah, you Israelite, Hebrew Israelites, two thirds, but he'll, that one third, the elect, but he'll come out of it alive. And Abarazza, we are of the elect, who names are written in the book of life. Abarazza, Abarazza. All right. Let's get uh, that Deuteronomy right quick. Straight to the point with that one. Um. Deuteronomy 28, uh, 60 to 61. We're getting the good news. Trend. We, start, we start with the KJV. We start with the KJV. And then the good news translation. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verses 60 to 61 in the King James Version. Moreover, he will bring upon thee 
all the all the diseases of Egypt to thirds of our nation. Our power is going to do that to you. Which thou was afraid of. And they shall cleave unto thee. Also every sickness and every plague. Which is not written in the book of this law. Right in this holy Bible. Them will the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai bring upon thee. Until thou, until you be destroyed. All right, let's get into good news translation. And it reads, He, right, our power, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, He will bring on you once again all the dreadful diseases you experienced in Egypt, and you will never recover. He will also send all kinds of diseases and epidemics that are not mentioned in this book of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's laws and teachings, the Holy Bible. And you will be destroyed. Epidemics. Right? Rapid spread of infectious disease to a large number of people in a given population within a short period of time. All right. The about an epidemic is the rapid spread of disease to a large number of hosts in a given population within a short period of time. For an example, in I'm not even, I'm not even about to pronounce that shit, but right. It says an attack rate in act in excess of 15 cases per 100,000 people for two consecutive weeks. Is considered an epidemic. All right, let's get some. Uh, let's get another definition. All right, it says a widespread occurrence of an infectious disease in a community at a particular time. In a community at a particular time. Think of uh, your county, your city, your state, maybe you know, a smaller area, right? Let's see. And then you get some similar terms, right? Right? For epidemic, the noun, you have outbreak, plague, scourge, infestation. You got a lot of uh, illness, diseases, plague that's going around that's, that can be found in the water. That's known for eating flesh, tissue, a brain-eating disease that's going around in waters. All right, these beaches, open bodies of water, tap water, and the list goes on. All right, then the similar term you have what pandemic, pandemic, right? So look up that word pandemic right quick. Let's get pandemic, pandemic definition, and you get a widespread occurrence of. An infectious disease over a whole country or the world at a particular time. All right. Let's go back to this. Let's type in epidemic. Just in case in the common dictionary, let's really see what it says. Epidemic. All right. You got outbreak. The sudden or violent start. Of something unwelcome, such as war, disease, etc. Isn't the day of the Lord shall cometh as a thief in the night? It's going to catch people slipping. All right, it's going to catch you off guard. It's going to, all right, you're going to get caught up. All right, infestation, the, the presence of an unusually large number of insects or animals in a place, typically, typically. So as to cause damage or disease, you're going to have a lot of animals spreading pestilences. Hurricanes can also spread pestilences since there are uh, recorded documents that there's pestilences like brain eating pestilences that's found in water. OK, water that you'd like to swim in, which if with, with your fresh tattoo, your fresh body piercing. With those brand new cuts. Cuts that you're unaware of. 
All right. You women like to swim with, with your uh when you're when it's but when it's that time of month if you know what I'm talking about. Like you still like to go to the beaches and go for a swim when your Hello Kitty is bleeding. All right, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, all right, infestation. Uh, all right, so you pretty much get the point there. Alvarez is out, right? So I'm gonna read it again in verse 61. He will also send all kinds of diseases and epidemics, pandemics, infestations, plagues, right? That are not mentioned in this book of the Most High's Yahweh Bashmiel Shai's laws and teachings. And you will be destroyed. Two thirds, you will be destroyed. So it's going to be a time like never before. So you best believe a zombie like atmosphere, a zombie like uh, time, I guess you can say. Movies like these, like the movie Cell, the movie Resident the franchise Resident Evil, World War Z, 28 Days Later, 28 Weeks Later, The House of Dead, Dawn of Dead, The Morning of Dead, Night Dead, and you know, the list goes on. The movie Contagious, and the list goes on. You best believe something like that will take place. And you don't got to believe it. It's cool, but your eyes will believe it when you see it. It's going to be too late by then, man. All right. Um, let's see if I got another one. Um, let's get that right quick. Um, Cause a lot of a lot of a lot of people be, be sleeping on our power, thinking that he's not capable of of making such thing happening, a uh, such thing happen. All right, let's get that right quick. The Book of Luke, one thirty-seven. The Book of Luke, chapter one, verse thirty-seven, in the KJV. For with God. Right, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, nothing shall be impossible. For with Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, nothing shall be impossible. Stop sleeping on our on our power, right? Stop fucking sleeping on him. Stop disrespecting our power. All right, because guess what? All right, you're going to fuck around to find out real soon. All right, Isaiah 66 and 4. King James Version. I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. You best believe a lot of people are afraid, especially you women. You he-mans are afraid. Of a society, a world where it's like zombies out here. Because a lot of you ain't built for it. Not even us. That's why we're relying on Yahweh Bashmi al so he can deliver us out of it. I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Yahweh Yahweh Shai is going to bring. You two thirds delusions and fears to life, and you other nations too. You Edomites and you heathens. Start with you Israelites, because what it says here, because when I called, and our, our power is doing that still through his prophets. Because when I called, none did answer. Like the scripture goes into how like they misuse the prophets. They scoff and mock at the prophets. Instead of taking heed, you scoff and mock. You talk shit. You make fun of us. You walk right past us. Take videos and pictures and probably upload it onto your social media making fucking mockery. So guess what? Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, right? Is going to do this to your Israelites. I also would choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear. But they did evil before my eyes and chose that which I delight of not. Right, a lot of you is like, like to lean upon your own understanding, establishing your own righteousness. You know you're a Nizlite, but you're still smoking weed. You're a Nizlite, but you're still committing adultery. You're a Nizlite, but you're still eating bacon, pork, abominable fools. You're still smoking. You're a Nizlite, but you're still getting shape ups, line ups. You still got long hair. You got dreadlocks, long hair. You shaping up your damn beard. You giving yourself lineups. You making yourself ball with shaving cream with the razor blades. 
eating abominable fools. All right, and the list goes on. You still celebrating your birthday, your curse day. You still celebrating these 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 wicked days. You're still participating in these wicked traditions. Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Valentine's Day, Easter, Good Friday. Still calling on Most High than Christ. Yahusha, Yahuwah, Yeshu, Yehudah, and whatever the fucking names in that JC character, Yesu Christos. All right? You did evil before Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai's eyes. You did what he delighted not. So guess what? The time will come where since you didn't want to suffer for our power wittingly, the time will come where he's going to make you suffer. You ain't going to have no choice but to suffer. And a lot of you Israelites are going to suffer in a zombie-like outbreak, let's say, in Jacob's trouble, along with many other events, judgments, plagues that he's going to send upon the earth, upon two-thirds of our nation. All right. Um, let me get one more. We'll close out. Abarats is out. The lesson is edifying to you believers out there, man. Because y'all the only one that's going to get it, the elect. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 33 in the KJV. And when this cometh to pass, all these prophecies, these visions come to pass, like the MOTB, the Mark of the Beast, the Charagma, the RFID chip. All right. A zombie light outbreak. Jacob's trouble. Brothers getting spiritual powers. Brothers perform miracles, perform miracles and judgments. World War Three breaking off. The World War Three drive. Civil war, race war, riot war, sedition among men, famine, pestilence, and the list goes on, right? And when this comes to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. The biggest I told you so is about to come onto this planet and, and here in America. It's because of the NLT version, New Living Translation. And the reason, New Living Translation, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 33. But when all these terrible things happen to them, to you two-thirds, as they certainly will, then they will know a prophet has been among them. Abarazza's the lesson was edifying and playing upon the tables. To know to you, to you elect out there the 144,000 elect men, right? To you sincere believers out there, right? Let's close out by giving a much ado all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachacha Kodas, Koholoyim La, Abanawa, Alahaya Nawa, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachacha Kodas. The Wada Abi Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Kaya Racha Kodas. The Wada, the Wada, the Wada. And double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to you, sincere Akim that's laboring in the works. And Shalom to you believers out there. To the Akim Wa Akwa, which will be you brothers and few of my sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. DTA, Abad, Babal, Soon. Kwam Yashallah.